this morning I mounted the Dolphino system. It looks a bit uh, complicated, but it was so easy to mount. Um, this was really a positive point because I remember with the Libero system, I had much struggle in understanding. Also, the instruction book was not very good, and the Dolfino came with a very, very simple, um, a really simple and, and clear instructions. Now, with the shirt, I don't know if you will feel anywhere. It's really fitted very well um, it was a bit difficult to really understand how much I should close the screw in order that it, it doesn't move because it's always the question of putting too much pressure on the wood. So I, I had to try a couple of times but now it, it, it looks solid and uh, it was very easy to put here. This is actually I don't know why it moves like this. I, I really don't know how. What is the purpose of having this movement? I should ask them because this I don't know why. Uh, maybe to put it, to put in and to put out. Maybe. Positive point, very comfortable. The violin has really free space to, to resonate. It's amazing, I mean. It's really amazing. This set is actually a trial set, so it's an older version. What is on the market, it's a, an updated version, so maybe it can be slightly different. It came with two different uh, chin rests. I put it the higher one because I always use a slightly higher chin rest. What I understood is that you cannot really change the high of the cushion here. I mean, it comes like this and uh, it stays like this, but you can change the height of the chin dress as far as I understood, but uh, um, I'm happy to discover uh, other options. Mm, one downside, the people that doesn't uh, like plastic, here you find a lot of plastic. For sure, there are safe plastic and uh, um, they use great material, but yes, just just to know, so maybe someone that loves wood or something more natural, you, you will go with this one. But um, it's a really, really cool system. And I also like that this part here is not made with metal. So uh, with the Libero, I had the impression that uh, if the metal would uh, touch the violin, it would be very, very bad. And here they put a little, a little thing here, smooth that in the case it touched doesn't really damage the valley and in any case it's really plastic so of course it's it's solid i have the feeling that it's not so dangerous as 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 the libero another thing that i really really like is that these cushions here you can manipulate them very very quickly and very easy it's uh, you can do like this and you put it higher wait Yes, higher or just you put down, but this is take like three seconds. So even if you play like an opera, for example, and you have a bit of break and you feel your muscles getting tired uh, here and you feel, OK, I should sustain more on the on the shoulder. You can really put it in another in, 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 uh, in a new new place like this and you will just touch very far away another muscle and this is amazing it is as i really like because the problem for my body it was really to go into the same muscle in a very sharp way and this gets very yeah gets very painful for me the possibility of change very quickly it's amazing the cushion here are also plastic they are soft they are, I don't know if you can feel it. They go, ah, actually they go like this, but I didn't know, okay. They can really adapt. They can really adapt a lot. 
and I feel they are very resistant. I mean, I don't know how I could damage them with hues. It's, it seems impossible to damage them. So this is a really, really good point for our, for our shoulder this. So yes, my, my question for them would be probably um, if it would be possible to create a custom chin rest made out of wood, because I would like to have wood on my skin on my chin uh, and these I'm pretty sure I don't want to say stupid things but I'm pretty sure that it's plastic um, so that would be my question for them but otherwise a really brilliant system and um, yes I will really consider uh, to to buy it coming back to this shoulder rest which I used in the last uh, months in combination of this chin rest, if it's very well my position, uh, there are a couple of things um, which are still difficult. One is the weight. Uh, when I tried the first couple of, of days, I really felt the difference about the weight on my shoulder. And um, yes, sometimes it was annoying. I have to say after a week, 15 days, then I was kind of used. But I don't know long term if it would be something that affects yeah, the muscle to have a little bit more, more weight on the shoulder. Another thing that I realized now I cannot... Ah yes, this is the downside of the Dolfino <laughs> system, that if I wanted to try out different violins, it's clear that it's impossible. I mean, this is a system that you cannot put out and put in every now and then. I mean, you put in and then you use it. Here we are very lucky to have many instruments coming and going and we are like to compare. So this is a bit difficult with this system. What I realize about this, first when I put it, if I don't want to, to damage it, as I, as I told you last time, I just have to not slide actually but just to raise a bit the tension in on my direction and just put it on the place and not slide the things if i slide the things the um, little sponge will be kaput will be completely broken in a couple of of days another thing that i realized is that in any case if my position is close with my shoulder even this system that looks very good when we try it uh, <laughs> doesn't really work because again I have the sharp the sharp side because the I'll let you know because the shoulder is from here if I close it it becomes also in this this direction and again since it's very hard material it gets very painful so uh, <laughs> when I was practicing I was oh what what is happening now and it's because i was closing a bit that happened when we practice a bit too long or uh, we are bored or uh, yes we are tired uh, something like this so always try to refresh the position to open up and if we open it up it's it's really great it's really 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 great about uh, pirastro Actually, I couldn't really exchange much with the, with the Pirastro team for now, but we can buy a new screws to make uh, the, the, this, uh, this uh, shoulder rest higher, which is brilliant. Another bad point of this shoulder rest is it's, uh, it doesn't fit my violin case. In, I cannot put it in the little pocket. It cannot really fit on the score because then pff, yeah, I have the scores there and uh, I cannot really put, I, that's all, I cannot really put inside my violin case. So I have always to be very careful to bring it um, into my bag. And since I use it in the last couple of concerts, I actually always bring into my violin case this one in the case I forgot <laughs> this one. So it becomes a, a, bit, a, a little bit complicated. Um, and this is like, yeah, it, it's a bit heavy to remember always where you put stuff, especially, yes, if you have a lot of things on the head or you are a bit uh, uh, not, not 
not um, always concentrated. With the Dolphina system, uh, it's really pretty sure that this will enter into my violin case. I will let you see how it looks like to put it out. Like this and like this. Oh, it's so simple. It's really so simple. It goes like this. The violin goes like this on the violin case and this enter. Let's see. Yeah, this enter super easily on the box of the of the violin case. So and to put it on, you just go here. I you don't see. You just go here, you put the things like this, and you put it inside and and it's uh, ready so pretty it's pretty cool it's really pretty 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 cool i still have my gas strings on on the violin i'm raising now to the intonation to 430 and um, i will practice a couple of more days with these strings and then go back to the normal setting but it was also an amazing experience and maybe we'll do a proper video about cap strings so yeah see you next time take care